Yeah, hello and welcome everyone. My name is the Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing another episode of our historical battles. This one is called Manzikert in the year 1071. The Seljuk Turks emerged from the steppe like a whirlwind, conquering the Muslim kingdoms to the east. Now, the fearsome Turkic riders meet the proud Byzantines near the citadel of Manzikert. In this scenario, we play as the Turks. Let's go ahead and get started. Minarets of dust twist upwards as horse hooves strike the fractured earth. Thousands of Seljuk Turks stream across the Anatolian plateau to converge on the walled town of Manzikert, which was recently recaptured by the Byzantine army. The Byzantines are the heirs of Rome, and their armored cataphracts and legions of disciplined swordsmen can smash aside the light armored Turkish horse archers, provided they can catch them. However, an unlikely turn of events has greatly improved the Turks' chances for victory. The Byzantine army is racked by treachery and deceit from within. One day, a band of mercenaries deserts the Byzantines. On another, the army's second-in-command leads a treacherous conspiracy against the commanding general. If the Turks can somehow turn the splintering factions against the Byzantine army, they may overcome a better equipped and better trained enemy. All right, our main objectives are to defeat the Byzantine army. Our secondary objectives are to receive tributes from the theme of Cappadocia, Pisidia, and Galatia by capturing their town center. The Seljuk Turks are restricted to a population limit of just 100. This battle takes place century before, centuries before the discovery of gunpowder. Your Seljuk army has no villagers. In order to replenish your troops, you will need to rely on tributes from conquered Byzantine themes. Do not destroy many buildings of the Byzantine themes, or you will have less to use once they are conquered. Garrison battering rams are useful for destroying enemy fortifications. Your scouts report that the Sheldrick army in purple is far from home and does not have the resources to construct a base. You can, however, train additional units. Additional resources and buildings can be gained by conquering the three Byzantine themes of Cappadocia, Pisidia, and Galatia, and in red, green, and yellow, respectively, and the Saracen Cyan gold mines. However, you must defeat, not conquer, the Byzantine army. The Byzantine themes rely largely on walls and towers for defenses. The Byzantine army in blue is a different story. You can expect to combat cataphracts, monks, and infantry. All right. Below us lie the many themes of the Byzantines. We should capture all we can before facing the brunt of the Byzantine army. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to focus on getting some upgrades for the time being and building a couple of rams. Now I think about it, perhaps a third ram would be in order here. Good. All right, so our first target will be this red town center. We need to get in there somehow. We have no tributes, which means our starting army is all we get for this time being. And that means we need to take good care of them. Okay. 
Tamam, saldır. Evet. Hazır ol. İleri. Three battering rams ought to do the job. Now red will almost certainly send some soldiers at us. There they are. Okay, let's move on to the next gate. I hope they only have these two gates. If they have a third gate, we might be in some trouble. But the important thing for these scenarios is to secure the first stream of tributes. Usually if you're able to do that, then it's just a matter of patience and time. Is there a third gate here? There probably is. Yep, there it is. Let's focus on battering it down. I, this should be the last gate. I don't see any other way a third ram here will be the three rams here will be doing a great job yeah if you don't build rams at the start you're kind of screwed i think on lower difficulties you get a trebuchet at least i remember in the past you get a couple trebs and that makes this level much easier everyone's only in the castle age here Alright, so let's sprint through to the TC now. Let's pick up Archer Armor Tech, and while we wait for these tributes to roll in, I would like to use the tributes to upgrade my army. Lovely pathfinding. Uh, if those guys are coming to attack Cappadocia, Oh, they're in for some trouble. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, that's quite a sizable army from blue. Yeah, more horse archers is exactly what I'm going to be going for here. Uh, we'll have to meet them while they're streaming in like this. Otherwise, if they get a chance to group up together, it'll be much more catastrophic for our army.
Yeah, fortunately, these guys were not disciplined enough to come at us in one big group. Otherwise, I don't think we would have been able to hold up against them. Alright, our next target will be this green town center here. Cool. And I think this town center is only guarded by this one gate. So... We just rush through. Oh, there's a second gate here, actually. We also rush through here. Let's back these cavalry archers away. Nice. <laughs> That's why you gotta be careful when you're using gates, friends. We just captured Pisidia for basically free. And now all we need to do is chill out and uh, get Galati on our side. Alright, let's shift our rams over here and prepare to liberate these gold mines. We have all the techs that we could possibly want, really. Um, all that I really want now is thumb ring for our archers and maybe ballistics if we can afford it. But that costs wood, and I don't have that. There's two castles here. There's the wood. Let's pick up Thumb Ring. I think these Saracens only have a very token force. So as long as we can destroy their towers. By destroying the towers protecting them, then the villagers will produce gold for the Turks. We need to destroy that tower somehow. Let's not kill the villagers. Let's try to get up here and get on the tower. How do we get this tower though? I guess we can use our archers. Fortunately, these guys don't have the greatest attack. That's only one HP on this guy. Do I have a monster anywhere? That's a... No, I don't. It doesn't seem like I get a monastery. Oh, don't kill the villagers. There's no need to kill the villagers. How'd they even get a tower up here anyway?
Alright, I guess what I could do is I could make a Meganel. I'll use the Meganel to destroy this tower instead. Kiting with Cavalry Archers forever is a nightmare. Doesn't seem like they're generating any more resistance, so I'll just move the rest of my army back here. The next tech that I'll go for is Ballistics. Kind of wish there was a way to sneak up this cliffside, but it doesn't look like there is. Rip. Unless Siege Towers can do the job. Can Siege Towers allow you to climb cliffs? Uh, siege tower over enemy walls. Huh. Can't be used by mounted units. That's true. I guess we just gotta sit here and patiently wait for our tributes. Fun. Thanks for the gold. Range of the castle is nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's no way that we can fight anywhere here without being under withering castle fire. Not really a fan of this. It just means that I have to sit around and wait for a long time. We'll get control of the Saracen Mines soon. The Megan now should only take one damage per shot here. That's right. I think it should win. Yeah, it'll win. With like half his HP left. Maybe even a little bit more, like two thirds of his HP. Great, 30, 50, yeah, that's 60%. All right, and now I guess we play the waiting game. Let's move our units back behind the wall.
Okay, and I guess we just sit here and wait for an opportunity. It's a bunch of gold. I don't think we need ballistics just yet. But I'm more interested in busting down that wall there. I'm going to build a siege tower just to see if we can actually have a use for the siege tower for once in any campaign. That is a lot of tribute from Pisidia. Yeah, it's a ton of tribute, actually. Thanks. Yeah, the weight's not so bad if this is what it's gonna be. It's not so. It's not horrible. Just need to build up enough. Let's do squires. What I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna try to use this siege tower to get like four infantry, a bunch of infantry units in. Um, and if I can get those infantry units in, then maybe they can run through and survive the onslaught. I'll use the barracks back here to research instead. Still a bunch more waiting around. And I will take this opportunity to get chainmail armor just to give our infantry some more longevity. Two more battering rams, too. Some more wood and gold. Thank you, thank you. Patience here is a virtue. Ah, uh, yes, the Pisidia tributes are quite nice. Cappadocia could take a leaf through Pisidia's book, honestly. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to zoom these rams, have them take the withering castle fire, and start attacking the gate. While they're attacking the gate, 
hopefully they last long enough as a distraction for whatever Pisidia's forces. Oh. No, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Oh, jeez. Hopefully they last long enough as a distraction so that my siege tower can also get in. I may need to sacrifice my rams, but the idea is the siege tower should unload on the other side of that wall. I mean, look at how fast this boy's going. And since he's filled with long swordsmen, the whole idea is to have a bunch of tanky guys just drop in on the other side. And we rush these this TC now. Rush the TC. Either way, we get the gate. Most of our swordsmen are really low, but they they're alive. There we go. Nice. Great, and now we're in the Imperial Age 2. Let's grab Conscription. Get some monks. And these castles belong to us now as well. Great. Build a trebuchet after this too. And grab Sepahi as well. So a little bit of patience. Two rounds of tributes was enough to do the job and uh, I will say the siege tower came in clutch there. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. So hey, Mazakert scoring points for me <laughs> from my perspective because it uh it actually gave a legitimate good use for siege towers which is awesome. Great. And now it's very defensible too. Uh, this looks like the start of the Byzantine outpost. I think what I would like to have is a bunch of cavalry archers. Let's first grab... Well, let's grab Sipahi. I'd also like to grab Ballistics. Parthian Tactics as well. There's lots of upgrades for the Turks that can stack on top of this. Still need Bracer, Ring Archer Armor. We're still sitting around here waiting for a lot of upgrades, unfortunately. We also have free Hussar upgrades, which is cool.
really feeling the lack of ballistics here. <laughs> All the guy has to do is walk away. Let's grab ballistics. Turks get free chemistry too, so we already got chemistry. The next tech is archer armor. No, let's get bracer, then archer armor next. 250 gold. Archer armor will be the next rotation. It's a bunch of wood. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that seems to have angered our friends. All's well and good, we can come back and heal still. I like to get some more trebuchets too before going on the attack in earnest because otherwise the trickle would just last forever. We'll pick up Ring Archer armor now. The Byzantine army is fortified at top this battle. We must be patient until we have the troops we need to conquer. Man, cutting these guys with cavalry archers is just so fun. It's so satisfying. Like the Byzantines are losing so many resources here. Okay, let's get another trebuchet. Once I have four trebuchets, I'll be content to attack. Uh, I wonder if the Byzantines have murder holes. I just realized they're only in the Castle Age too, so we should try to hit them before they get to the Imperial Age. I think two trips will actually be enough. We can have our Light Cavalry guard them. Thank you, Cappadocia. Your contributions are appreciated.
Okay, let's check to see if they have murder holes. It does look like they have murder holes, but it looks like they're missing some text. So they're actually relatively weak here. I'm gonna grab Blast Furnace. Start moving the rest of my army out. Five hundred wood, one hundred gold. Sorry, I'm leaning forward to check my keyboard. Hopefully, it doesn't affect the sound quality too much. I've been trying to adjust the sound quality. My, my mic's very inconsistent, and I don't know why that is. Now it's just a slow and steady matter. I think we should be able to hit that treb from two layers down. Or hit this gate with our trebs. Get barding armor here. These trebs set up here. There's no castle or anything blocking our way, right? Nope. I think these cataphracts might even lack husbandry. That's very problematic for these guys. Okay, let's start beating that castle down. There is a castle here, so I was right. My memory has not failed me yet. These 10 cavalry archers are such MVPs.
Alright, that's quite a lot of enemies coming actually. Let's get a few more husses out here. Oh! I don't want to get converted by the monks now. Didn't lose a single cavalry after here. But we're quite low on physical units now. I would like to get heavy cavalry archer too, just to flex. Oh, I just lost one. Rip. We'll grab Parthian Tactics. And they really understand who the high performers of my army are. Busting our way in here is going to be quite grindy and tedious. We need to do a lot of kiting to remain efficient. Let's have these two trebs unpack. Now luckily for us, these are only Castle Age units, so since we're in the Imperial Age, our unit quality is way higher. Let's bring these trebs back downstairs. What we need to do is we need to get rid of these barracks.
All right, if we can get these barracks down, their stream of long swordsmen will stop. So we just need to make a concerted push here. They haven't been making any more cataphracts, which gives me hope that they've actually run out of castles. We need the Hussars, because the Hussars are good at killing the monks. Good, more tribute is good. And I really wanted to get to Heavy Cavalry Archer to flex, but I don't think that's in the cards anymore. We're going to probably win before that happens. The monastery is probably back here somewhere. There it is. We will do the flex, because why not? Why the hell not? Yeah, but the Byzantines should be all but finished now. There we go. Heavy Cavalry Archer, let's go! Just amazing what some hit-and-run tactics on some weaker tech units can do for you. Um, overall, this is a very easy one. You do spend a lot of time kind of waiting around and not doing too much. But it's nice and relaxing. I actually have a soft spot for this one. Um... Because I played it a lot when I was a kid and you got trebuchets. It was, it was fun to just destroy stuff. Anyway, that's it. As long as the sun was in the sky, the Byzantine army could fight the Turks back towards their camp. When dusk settled over Anatolia, however, the Turks could harass the ponderous Byzantine cavalry as it withdrew to Manzika. When they could stand no more of this torment, the Byzantine flanks collapsed into a full rout, and the Turkish horse archers pounced for a quick kill. The Battle of Manzikert was not lost due to the poor performance of soldiers or commanders, but through Byzantine treachery. Deceit from within the armies disrupted the chain of command, as factions feuding for control of the throne in Constantinople betrayed their armies at the front. A much weakened of course was then forced to call the rest of the Christian West for help, leading to the Crusades. The Byzantine Empire lingered for another four centuries, but in only a shadow of its former glory. All right. Yeah, it's a nice, fun, easy mission. Um, it's not super action-packed or anything, so... You know, do it during your downtime when you need to relax or something like that. It's not a horrible level. It's pretty easy. Uh, but I can definitely tell that this was one of the older ones developed back before a high population count was really a thing. And I think it, it holds up reasonably well. 
Anyway, my name's with the Clever Fool. Thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.